Every beginner in the web development industry is confused with many tools, technologies and terms used. Some cannot even start on anything. Some are switching from one technology to another and in the end are too exhausted and stop learning. In this video, I will tell you how to become a front-end web developer without being exhausted. I will give you a complete roadmap to becoming a front-end web developer based on my own experience. As a bonus, I will estimate how much time it is required to become a complete front-end web developer. Assalamu alaikum and hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Adnan Ahmed, a freelance web developer with over a decade of experience in making website. If this is the first time uh, you visit my channel, please subscribe to my channel to get more web development videos in the future. So first thing is who is a front-end web developer? A front-end developer is a person who codes the overall website layout including UI and UX using the languages which is understandable by the web browsers. For example, HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So their job is to implement the way the website appears on your computer, laptop or mobile phone screen. As I told you earlier, every new web developer's major mistake is to start learning too many technologies at once. My biggest tip to every web developer is to make a vertical progress than the horizontal progress. Let me explain what vertical progress is. See, you need to learn the basic building blocks of the front-end development first so you can quickly make a good-looking website. There are multiple technologies on each step that are quite similar with some minor differences. The first and the base of the website is HTML. For example, you see a paragraph of a text, a heading, or a button on the website. And the second thing is CSS which provide look and feel to your website. For example, how the paragraph text will look regular or bold, what will be the color of the paragraph or what will be the color of the button. And the third part is JavaScript which provide the functionality to your website. For example, what happened when you click on a button, either it will open a pop-up or submit the form. You think of these three components of website as a human body. You can say HTML is the skeleton of the body, CSS is the skin of the body and JavaScript is the function which a body can perform. For example, moving a hand, looking up and down or any function performed by the body. So you have to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript first to start doing the web development. With this, there is one more skill which is necessary for the front-end developer is responsive web design. Responsive web design is a process to create web pages that looks equally good on computer, laptop, tablet and mobile screens. For this, with the use of HTML and CSS, we can automatically resize, hide, shrink or enlarge the elements on the web page to make them good on all devices. To do this, uh, you need to write the CSS and HTML from the scratch or you can use the uh, libraries which can help you make the responsive uh, websites in no time. The most famous is Bootstrap by Twitter. The link is provided in the uh, description. You can visit the website. You can learn the Bootstrap quickly if you have the strong grip on the HTML and CSS already. At this step, if someone spent a good time practicing everything explained already, he or she uh, will be able to make a good looking website and a functional one. Now going a step further, uh, at this step uh, you can learn some JavaScript libraries and frameworks. These frameworks help you build the website without doing the repetitive task and you do not need to write every code from the scratch. Speaking of a JavaScript library, although the jQuery is not on the top list, but you can still learn it with JavaScript to add functionalities to your website 
uh, without writing too much code. The latest list of uh, JavaScript libraries and framework include React, Angular, or Vue.js. The only difference uh, between frameworks and libraries is framework provides you a predefined way of writing the code. But in case of libraries, uh, you can uh, code yourself the way you want to do it. Choosing a JavaScript library or framework definitely speed up your uh, process of creating dynamic websites or web apps. To understand the dynamic feature in a website, for example, if you visit the Facebook and you scroll uh, through the stories, it loads the old stories uh, without uh, refreshing the whole page. Sometimes it only shows a loading icon and loads the old stories instantaneously. It makes your website or app user-friendly and people not distracted while using the website as they don't need to refresh the page manually. Here I will recommend React over other uh, framework as it is a famous one and easy to learn. Same as JavaScript libraries and frameworks, you can upgrade your CSS skills also. See when CSS grows, it gets complicated and making any change can impact many places and there can be unseen uh, bugs also. Secondly, CSS is old now although there is a new version of CSS which is CSS3 but for any new feature added to it needs to support by all the famous browser and it is a time taking process. So here comes the CSS preprocessor like uh, SAS, stylus or less. This CSS preprocessor allow you to add variables, mixins, functions and nesting which makes your uh, CSS cleaner, shorter and feature rich. And using their compilers uh, you can convert the code to CSS. And the good thing is uh, CSS preprocessor code is not very uh, different from the uh, CSS itself so you can easily learn it also. Here my recommendation is to learn SAS but you can also learn less or stylus there is not much difference in them. Okay at this point uh, you are ready to look jobs in the uh, front-end web development industry. The couple of things uh, which you can learn and uh, provide you edge on others are first one is um, a version control system. A version control system helps you maintain a history of what you have done in your code and the famous one is git at the moment. Uh, git uh, not only provides you uh, to maintain the history of your code but also you can collaborate with your team uh, using the git. Second is uh, code testing although there is not much importance uh, given to the testing of the code uh, but I think it is better uh, to learn the uh, testing uh, so it makes your website uh, bug free. Uh, there are uh, two methods of uh, uh, code testing first is functional testing uh, which includes complete testing of the website and the second is unit testing in which a uh, small unit of uh, codes are tested independently. So all this is uh, done to make your website bug free. Third one is uh, browser developer tools. Uh, the browser developer tools are the one like uh, inspector in the Chrome browser. Uh, which helps you inspect the HTML, uh, CSS and the JavaScript. This way you can see what elements are appearing on the website, uh, what CSS is applying and you can see the JavaScript uh, functions in the JavaScript console. Now here come the bonus part. As I told you earlier, I will uh, provide you an estimate how much time it is required to become a complete web developer. So in my opinion uh, to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript plus the responsive web design it will uh, take you three to four months if you are dedicated enough to spend something around uh, five to six hours uh, in the day uh, to learn all these skills. And the second thing which is to learn the React it will uh, maybe take around uh, two to three months and then come the CSS preprocessor which I suggest you to learn uh, SAS um, maybe take around 
uh, one month. And lastly, the other skills which I ask you to learn like uh, Git, code testing and uh, browser developer tools will take you one to two months to master all this. So if you go a very slow pace, it will only take you three to four months uh, to master the basic skills. And when you upgrade yourself uh, to make you are a good uh, front-end developer, it will take you probably around 10 months and get a good job or you can even go to freelance marketplace to get the jobs. If you want to learn how to get a job in the freelance market, uh, I already made a video. I will give a link in the eye icon above. You can click it and view that video also. Okay. As I always said, it is only a estimated time frame. Someone can learn quickly. Someone can learn on the slow pace. But if you are consistent and spending and locking your time every day to learn skills, uh, you can be a good uh, front-end web developer. And the most important point, don't switch too many technologies, but learn one skill at a time and then you can enhance your skill or even you can uh, learn other frameworks and technologies on each step. And it happened uh, when you working on some job or some projects, uh, uh, you can learn other tools and technologies and uh, you can even learn in quickly based on your already gained knowledge. I hope you guys you find this uh, video helpful and write me in the comments what tools and technologies uh, you are learning at the moment and I am hopeful uh, you will definitely get uh, uh, some good job or some good projects uh, when you learn these skills. Please write me in the comments if you have any questions. Until the next video, I am signing off. Assalamu alaikum.